China is singularly focused on beating big space companies like SpaceX and others in the new race to Mars. Nobody can deny that China is attempting to win the new space race. Given its achievements over the last decade, it is not only the first country to soft land on the far side of the moon in nearly 40 years, but it has also placed a flag on lunar soil and returned samples to Earth. The competition between numerous countries and commercial enterprises, on the other hand, is far from over. China's Tianwen-1 spacecraft is approaching Mars and is scheduled to arrive. In today's video, we'll discuss China's attempt to beat SpaceX and whether or not it will have an impact on other big companies who are working on space projects. But first, a big welcome to all newcomers to this channel. We post daily updates from the world of space. Now, let's get started with the video. Although Mars is close to Earth, it remains a difficult target. The stats do a better job of demonstrating this. Only roughly 20 missions out of 49 have been successful as of December 2020. Not all of these failures were the result of inexperienced or early attempts. There is a promotional video which is captured and published on Weibo in China, which portrays two potential plans for attaining suborbital passenger flights in the next two decades. The first design in the video seems surprisingly similar to SpaceX's Starship vehicle, which is intriguing. It shows a gigantic vehicle that can take off and land vertically. The concept is notable, not just for its similarity to Starship in appearance. The vehicle's exterior is shimmering, comparable to Starship's stainless steel structure. And the first and second stages are similarly seamless, but also for its function. SpaceX has designed a point-to-point -point idea for Starship, which has mostly been pushed as a vehicle to transport humans to the Moon and Mars. This Earth-to-Earth -Earth concept was first revealed by SpaceX in September 2017, a video from the time touted a suborbital flight time of about 39 minutes from New York City to Shanghai on Starship, as well as the capacity to travel everywhere on Earth in less than an hour. In the Chinese film, the second point-to-point -point design featured a horizontal takeoff, horizontal landing vehicle that used an electromagnetic catapult. This would not be the first time that SpaceX has inspired the Chinese space program. The country has been following SpaceX since its beginning, with a particular interest in the company's plans to reuse rocket first stages. According to the book Liftoff, a Chinese spy boat was in the little piece of ocean where the Falcon 1 rocket's first stage was expected to re-enter during the company's very first launch in 2006. In 2019, the Chinese Long March 2C rocket tested grid fins similar to those employed by the Falcon 9 rocket's first stage to navigate itself through the atmosphere during re-entry. China plans to develop the Long March 8 rocket to land on a sea platform like the Falcon 9 booster, while Chinese semi-private companies like Linkspace and Galactic Energy appear to be copying SpaceX's launch technology. It is unclear if China will construct a Starship-like interplanetary transport vehicle. For the time being though, China wants to create the Long March 9 rocket, a more traditional super heavy lifter, as well as a triple core booster, similar to SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket. A Chinese launch business is planning to provide tourist rides to space as early as 2024, reportedly inspired by SpaceX achievements. All of this happens at CAS. CAS Space, a commercial spin-off of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, is already working on rockets for commercial satellite launches and declared in August that it aims to send people into space, although for a short time. According to the news release, CAS Space is developing a single space reusable rocket that could transport up to seven passengers for a 10-minute flight above the Kármán line at 62 miles which is widely considered to be the border between Earth's atmosphere and space. The CAS space project's illustrations are remarkably similar to both Blue Origin's new Shepard suborbital space tourism rocket and SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft. While there are parallels between the Crew Dragon and the Xuanwen, the Xuanwen uses five Xuanwen kerosene liquid oxygen engines rather than the single BE3 liquid hydrogen liquid oxygen engine used by SpaceX. Grid fins near the rocket's top would steer the rocket's descent. Meanwhile, three parachutes will help the crew capsule fall to Earth. 
It is unclear whether the artwork in the press release really represents CAS Space's goals, but we'll find out in 2022 when the business hopes to do the first demonstration flight. In 2023, a full suborbital test flight will take place, followed by suborbital tourism services in 2024. The timetable is unquestionably ambitious. In April 2015, Blue Origin's New Shepard made its first crewed flight. On July 20th, after more than six years and 14 launches, the company's first crewed launch took place, sending company founder Jeff Bezos and three others on a suborbital voyage. Different countries have different space development models. Therefore, the new space race is partially a competition to see who can come up with the best strategy. This represents the distinct character of the so-called Space Age 2.0, which appears to be more diversified than the first, and in which non-US actors, both public and private, play a key role, particularly Asian actors. If China is at the head of the pack, so is its vision. However, there are more important issues at hand. China's space exploration effort is still entirely government funded and led by the military. China views space as a weapon of geopolitical and diplomatic competition, according to the US-China Economic and Security Review Panel, a congressional commission of the US government. Space has clearly become a crucial new warfighting area, alongside cyberspace, in which the US is the main, but not the only, foe. For many countries, this implies that commercial considerations come second, despite the fact that they have become increasingly essential in the larger scheme of things. China has already implemented five-year space plans, the most recent of which finished in 2020 with more than 140 launches. There are other missions in the works, including a new orbital space station, the retrieval of Martian samples, and a Jupiter exploration mission. While the country's resources are mostly unknown, we only know what the five-year plans are. US estimates for 2017 placed the sum at $11 billion, second only to the US's own budget. NASA's budget for the same year was around $20 billion US dollars. Chinese rocket officials have talked for years about creating a massive Long March 9 launcher for their most difficult missions, such as lunar landings. The Long March 9 was projected to have a capacity of 140 metric tons to low Earth orbit, and its development was formally approved earlier this year. It consisted of a massive core stage with four boosters. In many aspects, this super heavy rocket was a natural extension of China's existing Long March rocket family. With this, we have reached the end of our video. If you like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel to be part of our team. Thank you so much for watching. We will be back tomorrow with more updates from space.